Hello everyone, my name is Craig Prince. I'm a student at the Guildhall at SMU. I'm an artist and I am in the art creation program and I am in cohort 16. Today this is a tutorial to show you how to export a weapon from 3DS Studio Max um, into UDK. I'll be showing you the part, the process on how to export your weapon. And this is for people that have a basic knowledge of 3DS Max and has also fully modeled and textured your weapon. First thing you want to do is, let's say we want to set our pivot arm to the center world grid, which is at the axis of 0, 0, 0. And as you can see, it's at the top. And what you want, especially for weapons, is at the bottom of the base, say right here in between the gun barrels or the ammo boxes. So I want to go right here in my front view, go up to my hierarchy tab, which is right here next to my mouse. Make sure that your pivot is selected, okay? then go up to effect pivot only because I don't want to move my object and then I'll grab my Z axis and drag it down till it's about centered and you can see that I'm in perspective view right now really you want to be in orthographic so I can actually get a better picture that I'm in the center of the world and actually I did a pretty good job it's kind of harder when you're in perspective orthographic you have a pretty uh, good idea about where you are and once you finish this just click on the create tab to get out and now you can see your pivot arm is at the bottom center base of your object and that's where you want it and it's also good practice too every time you finish with a model you will always want your uh, your pivot arm at the center grid and depending where you will want it either um, below your object or in the center however it is but you always want your object at the center of the grid let's take off the grid let's hit G and now I want to reset my unit scale. This is very important when you're going to export this, especially when I'm going to export into UDK. So to, res uh, to reset my unit scales, I want to go up to Customize. From Customize, Unit Setup. And I want to make sure this is at generic units, not on custom, US standard, metric. Make sure it's at gener generic. Generic, excuse me. Go up to System Unit Setup. I have mine set up already. Um, I have it at 0 0.065. Um, and the basic units in UDK is one unit and a base the average height of a character in UDK is 96 so this is actually kind of a nice size of a weapon for the character not too big not too small um, you could adjust this just depending on your specification of your weapon or how big it is or how big you want it to be um, but I'm gonna settle with this so I'm gonna hit OK go down here hit OK now I got this set up um, now we need to reset the X form. It just resets all of our transformations, rotations, scaling. So um, we go up here into our utilities tab, click on reset X form, and then hit reset selected. I'm not going to hit reset selected because I have a skin modifier on and I'll be showing you guys later about um, the skins and it's kind of a long process so I didn't want to go too long about it but if I would click reset X form I'll go back out and I'll have a giant bounding box it'll be preferably it most likely will be orange and it will be right around your object and it just shows that you reset it so you want to go to your modifier and after your modifier it will go up in here into your skin or not excuse me your uh, it'll say reset X X form you're gonna right click it and you're gonna hit collapse 2 and you want to collapse it on top of your edible poly so say we finished that already sorry about that um, you want to go up into here and now we're gonna start skinning and rigging and right now I'll be showing you how to set up your bones and your bones will be in your crate tab right here you'll go up into your systems and bones and bones is also kind of a long process I have my bones set up already which you can see right here and when you set up your bones for your weapon you just have to kind of think about it um, you want your root bone or also known as root node at your base of your handle the base of your um, your main handle gun handle which is mine's right here so this is the root node that controls all these so if I move this around it moves everything around as you can see there and here's my secondary this is the secondary handle and then you also um, you want the muzzle flash 
you want those for whatever your vehicle is going to be firing you want to make sure you have a bone to that specific spot especially you want it at the center and as you can see I got them right here this is my secondary fires for the rocket launcher and I got two of them and two barrels and you see that they're centered in there and once you got your bones set up to the way that you want it or your specifications you will get out of it and then next you want to add a skin your skin will be up in here in your uh, in your modifier and then you will all actually click on your objects excuse me make sure that I'm this and then you'll hit uh, since skins not right here sometimes some people have skin already in their shortcuts so I don't have skin on here and if you're one of those people that doesn't have skin also you just type in skin and as you can see I got skin right here and you're gonna click skin and since I already have skin set up and right here and this is when you're gonna start weighing your verts onto your bones you can see right here I'll reset this there you go that we get a better look at it I have this is my root node or my root bone and I have it all these vertices weighed to the root bone meaning this is what moves everything and these for our um, animation purposes are really simple so none of these have any kind of unique animations so when I go on to here and then also you want to make sure you add all your bones you can see right here I have a list of all my bones but if you haven't add all your bones where you will go is to add and it'll pop up a menu and in here I don't have any bones since I already got them all selected but if you don't have any bones selected you want to select all your bones click select and then it'll, it'll drop them back down in here and this is when we're going to start weighing it and you see right here it says main gun handle it's very important that you have a naming convention because especially if someone's going to import your gun you want to make sure they know where your root bone is secondary handle gun barrels because if you don't name them they're going to get very confused at bone 001 bone 002 as you can see at these right here and so here is my secondary handle I want to make sure that the handle is weighted to this bone just this handle if you have any other verts connected to this bone especially for animation purposes it's going to mess with your geometry and this is a second piece of geometry separate piece excuse me so make sure that all your bones are weighted properly it hit it for me there we go and then as you see I got my rocket launcher barrel right here weighted to that bone so if I want to do any animations rotating it scaling that'll be it right there here's my right gun barrel you want to be very specific like I said don't just put barrel because you can have different sets of animations for two different barrels these can move simultaneously um, and especially for firing purposes too so they're set up differently and after when you set up your uh, skins you can actually click out of it up in here which I already clicked out of it and this is when you can start set up your animations I already have a basic animation set up already um, you go right down here you can click end the animation mode and hit play and you can see I got a little jitter okay this is just for firing purposes and I set that jitter onto this bone right here and you can see the frames down here on the bottom left corner and you can set up different frames for different bones to control them because if I have this one selected I can't move this bone since this root bone controls all of them so if I want to move this one around I click inside this and you see that the frames are gone so you gotta reset some new frames so say if I want to move this to down to the side like this just hit keyframe to set it up and then it'll move it around 